These days I'm trying to lighten the loads in multiple parts of my life, especially travel. Thankfully, recent developments in tech have made it really easy to achieve plenty of capabilities in lightweight packages. And one of my favorite examples of this has been laptops like this, the Asus ZenBook A14. I took a close look at this notebook back at CES, and now I'm actually taking this one with me to Computex to use as a proper productivity tool. I'm using it from scripting to light creative work to planning an entire family vacation. It's been a great companion, especially with some helpful AI features that have come to the laptop more recently. So let's revisit this aesthetically pleasing light laptop while I visit Taipei with Asus. Hey, it's Joshua Fagar. What's going on, everybody? This right here is the super light but still highly capable Asus ZenBook A14. Before we get started, a quick shout out to Asus for partnering with me on this video. They sent me this Zabriskie Beige edition of the ZenBook A14, which is a refreshing change of scenery from the also good looking Iceland Grey that I looked at a while back. Asus also brought me out here to Computex 2025 in Taipei, which also provided a great opportunity to properly test things out in a travel scenario. But as you can see, some time was spent with the ZenBook here at home. I got the laptop out of its box and was ready to go pretty quickly. It was a minimalistic endeavor unboxing this thing, which is actually in line with the vibes that the A14 and the ZenBook line are going for. Excuse the fact that the new desk I'm using here actually has a color that's very similar to this laptop, but clearly that means I'm a fan of this colorway. Since we're working with a Snapdragon processor on here, the lightweight laptop won't bog me down even in terms of charging, as the 65 watt charger included isn't a huge brick and plugs in via one of the high-speed USB-C ports. Not that I would need to plug in too often anyway, since battery life should be pretty good on here. Props goes to Asus for being so designed forward with a notebook that could benefit all kinds of users. The A14 is adorned with the brand's signature Serra Aluminum, which is a mixture of ceramic and aluminum to give the laptop proper durability with a lovely look and feel. As I mentioned before, this is the Zabriskie Beige colorway, meant to replicate the hues and tones of Zabriskie Point in Death Valley, California, a place that's actually pretty close to home for me as I'm literally going to fly out of Southern California to Taiwan for this very video. Now, opening everything up, we see the essentials comfortably provided in this 14-inch laptop body. From the comfortable keyboard that helped me script what you're listening to right now, to the port selection that actually includes a full-sized HDMI port right over here, alongside a headphone jack and a USB-A port on the other side. There's also a sizable trackpad that includes some of the swipe shortcuts for key functions like brightness and volume control. And actually up here, you can swipe side to side to scroll and scrub through videos like on YouTube. Speaking of which, this particular laptop that I'm rocking has the Full HD Plus Lumina OLED panel blasting vibrant colors that I will definitely take advantage of for playing movies and maybe some games during the long flight across the Pacific. If there is one place where less didn't really mean more when it came to the A14 though, it would have to be in these speakers, which like an overall body and depth to the sound. The headphone jack and the Aptex powered Bluetooth sound will help make up for that anyway. I'll put on some headphones and get immersed into the sound. Indeed, essential is a term that really describes the ZenBook A14, uh, and for most people who are looking for a capable but nimble daily driver, this is a great choice. Powering all of this work and play is the Snapdragon X Plus, with 16 gigabytes of RAM and half a terabyte of storage in my unit. All of this is different from the Snapdragon X Elite processor that the gray laptop I previously worked on was sporting. It's for that reason that I do have to temper some expectations here. I know I always come at any laptop I test from the scope of a content creator, because that's who I am. But this particular configuration of the ZenBook A14 is um, best suited for the pre-production aspects of my work. It does very well with my research, scripting, and even thumbnail creation, which means this laptop would be great for a wide range of people doing similar writing, browsing, and creative dabbling tasks on the regular. We're also not looking at a crazy gaming rig here, obviously. That said, the Snapdragon X Plus here is still enough to get me some time in simpler card titles like Bellatro or Marvel Snap with no issues whatsoever. And finally, on the spec and performance front, there is a 70 watt hour battery in here that when combined with the Snapdragon X Plus can last for quite a long time, especially when you're just doing those regular everyday tasks. Asus claims up to 32 hours of battery life when doing video playback. Uh, at the very least, that is sure to get me enough for the long haul flights uh, with like downloaded YouTube videos and all of that. But given this Snapdragon X Plus processor, there is an ace up the sleeve of this light everyday laptop. You guessed it, AI. 
Microsoft has been making moves as of late to ensure that experiences across the Windows spectrum benefit from their Copilot Plus features, and the A14 is no different. It's easy enough to hit the Copilot button here on the keyboard, go over to the Copilot icon in the taskbar, or do the Alt spacebar shortcut in order to get to all of the various ways that you can use AI on this laptop, including getting quick conversational answers to questions or even generate some text and images. But Search did get some improvements to include a lot of what is already on the laptop. For example, I'm gathering a slew of pictures from my smartphone, which itself already connects easily to Windows for file transfer and notification syncing, but those photos also get parsed by Copilot so that I can search for some pretty specific things. Maybe I want to find pictures from a specific day or find something even more particular like the landmark in a shot. Now, as I keep mentioning, travel is a big part of the experience with the ZenBook and it's not just here to Taipei for Computex. I'm actually heading out to Seoul in South Korea for a family trip, and I've been looking up all the restaurants and all of the stuff to do in the city with my parents. It's a lot to look through though, even with the help of my friends who live in Seoul. Shouts out to them. But with all of the different listings and booking websites and the chats with my folks and my friends, it's easy to lose anything in the mix. That's where one of the most useful AI features comes into play, recall. Recall is a feature that has been helping me, well, recall a previous website or a listing or a picture of a place that I definitely want to add to my list during my stay in South Korea. So here's how it kind of works. Recall consistently keeps track of websites, apps, and even files and documents, and then provides you a timeline of places that you may have visited not too long ago while also parsing all of the information that is inside of it. I could simply go backwards in time a little bit, try to find some of the other listings that I might have been looking at for this trip to Seoul, or actually use the search in the top bar here in order to see something like shopping. And it will immediately find via the parsed information various places that I might have been looking at terms like shopping. As another example, I could use Recall to shoot back to where I was going to make reservations for a Korean barbecue place, or go back to a YouTube video that I was watching some time back outlining the best places to go in Busan. Now, I kind of alluded to this next capability with the text-based searching that you saw in Recall, but Click to Do is a way of using similar searching in the moment. The shortcut for it is Windows Q, and then everything on the screen becomes something that you can action upon by clicking on it, giving you a bunch of different uh, options in order to, let's say, copy, save, or share uh, some sort of image. Uh, maybe I want to continue a search uh, of something that I found, like a cafe in Taipei that I want to check out. Or if I have like an email address on here, I can click on that and easily open up an email composition. Pictures that I come across when browsing or searching can become visual searches as well when using click to do, or I can share straight from that contextual menu. These are all features that have been coming to Copilot Plus PCs like this Asus ZenBook A14 recently, now alongside other features like the live captions, the webcam studio, and the generative paint and photo abilities that I did cover in my previous round with this laptop. While the minimalist nature of the ZenBook already makes it an easy recommendation for people looking for work and play that can go anywhere with them, the added layers of all these AI abilities help this affordable notebook punch above its weight. AI and Copilot Plus features are a major part of ASUS's AI PC offerings even beyond this ZenBook A14, so to learn more about it all, you can hit the links that I have in the description below. Ooh, okay, we have covered a lot, which is saying a lot coming from a laptop that just weighs under one kilogram. But that's the joy of where we are in the computing space right now, thanks to efficient power via Snapdragon processors and the work ASUS puts in to make the overall experience a great time with things like OLED screens and great looking hardware. The ZenBook A14 certainly is proving itself as a great way for me to pass the time on my flight, but also as my assistant, dare I say my co-pilot, in my planning for these upcoming days out in Asia. The best part is that this package, already easy on the eyes and easy on the backpack, is getting easier on the wallet because the A14 can be found on discounts from time to time. It's definitely worth checking out, so let me know your thoughts on the ASUS ZenBook A14 in the comments below while I finish up all of my planning for these upcoming trips, or at least uh, download some more content to keep me company on the flights to those destinations. From there though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for kicking it with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and enjoy your tea, everybody.